The point what the Iran, uh, Iranian president means to bring out, he's cleared, clarified that very many times in the media. He clarified that the Palestinians didn't have to pay the check what's happened in the Holocaust. Okay, so you, in your view, it's purely political. There's no Iran's feelings towards Israel. Against is purely political. Israel, not purely against political. Jews, 100 percent. Have no doubt about what about it. what about the statements uh, from Iranian presidents that, that that sort of cast doubt on the number of of Jews that were killed in the Holocaust? I cannot tell you exactly every word, okay, because I haven't got it here the quotes. However, yeah. but he clarified very many times. I didn't come to minimize the Holocaust. I just come to say that the Palestinian didn't have to pay the bill of the Holocaust. If the Nazis has killed Jews. What do you want from the Palestinians? They didn't do it. Why do you take away their country? Go to Germany. I don't know. Do whatever you want. What do you want from the Palestinians? This is the point of the Iranian president. However, the Zionists taking all his speeches and twist it out to bring it out on the semantic. When you will look with two eyes, you will see. You will. Th th there is no anti-Semitism in Iran. No anti-Semitism in Morocco. And not only that, even by Hamas, and Fatah, you won't see the anti-Semitism. We just met the late leader of Hamas for six weeks ago in Turkey. We, we came there to a, a conference, and we didn't know that before, but in the middle of the conference come in Ismail Anir. Ismail Anir, the leader yes, of Hamas. Yeah. He saw our Jewish rabbis, he embraced us, and he declared there clearly, I have no problem with Jews. When we will have the state of Palestine, Jews will be welcome.